Everybody, Dr. Jackson back for video two, talking about the process of student management. We call it classroom management, but it's really student management. Some of the things that I see that our teachers have to deal with is being able to identify personalities within your students. First, the personality within yourself. But for the sake of discussion, I want to talk about the personality that I really see commonly among many of our instructors, and that's passive aggressive, right? They're not a uh, punk or scared but they don't like confrontation. Confrontation is an act of love. So you have to confront behaviors. Like if you care about somebody or care about our relationship, I have to confront. But the key part is always the boundary. And it is so important to learn how to stand up for yourself. It is so important to really train people in how the boundaries of environments, many times in relationships, in our families, in our workplace relationships, the boundaries are not clear. And this is dangerous and it's bad and it'll always get us a, a horrible result. Some student personalities that I see that probably are going to conflict with a passive aggressive personality from a teacher. These are some student personalities first. One, you're talking about angry kids. You're talking about uh, followers. You're talking about defiant kids. You're talking about kids that are easily distracted. You're talking about some kids flat out disrespectful. Uh, frequent flyer. Everybody knows who that is. There are kids that are manipulative. That's a kid that's playing you straight up. You know, uh, I'm going to tell, you know, tell my mother. My mother told me I ain't got to listen to you. Shut up. You know, put your phone away. Shut up. That's manipulating because, you know, you can't talk to a teacher like that person and a teacher. There's not one kid that doesn't know that's wrong. The boundary has allowed it. Now, once again, the toughest teachers will be challenged. However, those with boundaries will always be able to hold fast always be able to get good results. It becomes a lot of our, our challenges to be able to recognize these personalities and understand, hey, my personality is going to be in conflict with that. If I'm a if I'm a passive aggressive person and I got a defiant person, they're going to push the boundary all the time. And I'm going to spend more of my time arguing with you, frustrated, disconnected, quitting and giving up. Why? Because I'm not going to fight with a kid. And some of our teachers get trapped into and they become that mad, frustrated teacher. They just argue with the kid all the time. It doesn't work. These are things that we have to be able to recognize to help ourselves with being better at student management. Some of the things I want to leave with you and some of the things that we discuss in our Classroom Management Institute, I want to give you some things to help you right now. Uh, we're talking about consistent supervision. OK, with today's kid. I can probably give y'all 11 cases where things that have, have happened in classrooms were specifically because the lack of awareness with stu student su uh, supervision. This kid, post-COVID kid, requires that the teacher is going to have to ex understand you're going to get you 10,000 steps in. You need to wear some shoes that talk to your feet. OK, they, they require it. Like if you're not right on top of them, if they don't know you're watching all the time all type of foolishness will happen. They require you to supervise them at a higher level than we ever have. The 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 at the desk teacher, that career is over. That day, that day's over. Doesn't work. Second, you got to bring a stable personality to work every day. Okay? Like you can't be influenced by your feelings. If a kid can trigger you, if a kid can make you quit, give up, be frustrated, angry, you lost. In today's market and education, the teacher needs to be more aware of how him or her feel all the time because the emotion, that's when we say trauma zone, that means feelings, hurt feelings. A lot of bad habits develop based on what I've been through. That doesn't help us and only we and only we can correct it. This is what we talk about in the Institute. Number four, boundaries, excuse me, number three, Setting boundaries, see, setting boundaries, personal and classroom. This works, this doesn't. This works, this don't. Do this, this don't. You understand what I'm saying? That's the way it has to be. Boundaries is something that you have to have in life. You have to have it with your employer. You have to have it with your colleagues. You have to have it with your parents. You have to have it in every relationship you have with your, your children, your personal relationships. Boundaries is something you have to learn to set. Total, typically, when a relationship goes left, the boundaries are off. There's certain things I just can't do. I won't do with you. 
not about to argue with a kid. Right. Here's what we do in this class. Here's what I expect. And I'm going to do it every day, all 179 days. And this is where many teachers really, really struggle. But here's the deal, which is awesome. You can learn to be more consistent. You can learn to, to develop routines that's to your benefit. You can learn to be aware of your emotions and how you feel and what you're going through, which will help you be better for the kid. The first rule of emotions and trauma is recognize your own. A lot of our teachers are over aggressive. And then we have teachers that are way too passive. Well, all that's based on trauma both ways, right? I got a lot going on and I'm a snap. Hey, I've been beat down a lot in my life. You guys are not listening for, you know, I got a teacher in the classroom dripping tears or has given up, checked out. I never blame the teacher. What I ask every teacher to do is be aware of this. And this is how you start your student management process. The Classroom Management Institute is the thing. Uh, it's one of my institute that I'm most proud of because it helps the teacher. I'm a pro teacher guy. I will always be a pro teacher guy. I'm a teacher and it is a teacher who was disciplined and consistent that saved my life. That's why I will always give my energy in this business to the de teacher development. Teachers are the only people who can give a kid who comes from a horrible situation, a teacher can give them hope and cut the light on and reroute their whole life. It happened for me. And the power of the teacher is more relevant today than it's ever been. It is my classroom management institute. I call it student management, managing difficult personalities. First way you do it, I got to understand. I got to know how I feel. I got to know what's going on with me. And now I got to establish routine. Now I got to establish practices that I'm going to do all 179 days. And I train myself in it and I train my kids in it. And the teachers that have that regimented routine and approach, those are the teachers who have less problems. That doesn't mean you're not going to have issues. It means you have a more consistent pattern of managing it. And typically those teachers, they refer less. That's why any principal will tell you when certain teachers send a kid out, he got to go home because that teacher don't send kids out. That means you were way over the line. That's the reputation you want to develop in, in, in this classroom practice. This is so what I'm doing to help teachers is over the summer, I have my classroom management institute. Way I've set it up is that the teacher, it's, it's a simple one hour classroom management, classroom management, student management development program. It really talks about these things and it helps you to develop good habits, good practices. And what we're going to do in this one hour, this one hour training video, you'll be able to watch it all summer, refer back to it. And here's the cool thing. All the teachers who individ they individually get in that program, they can always email, reach out to me, ask for advice, ask for guidance. This is what I'm doing for the teachers. I would ask every all the information is below, but principals, superintendents, put all your teachers in it. What it does is it gives them individual access where they can watch it on their time, but they can use it as development. And it talks about the principles of strong student management that will allow us to make teaching and learning classroom control, classroom structure, it'll make it, at, put it back at the forefront and we'll stop wasting all this time fooling around in class, kids just killing our learning environment because we can't manage a, a troubled kid or a kid who's got something going on, a kid who's not ready to learn that day. The teachers need this. This is called a skill that you can learn. It's not automatic. So for every district, every school, you can individually register for all your teachers. And what it'll do is it'll allow them to have personal access to it. They can register and they'll be able to log into it and watch it uh, over the course. I, I think it's a block of time over the course of a month or whatever. They can watch it at their leisure and they can get the help they need uh, to be more productive in this process of student management. It is my classroom management institute for all teachers. I'm really expecting uh, thousands of teachers to be able to get in this thing. It's the best advice on classroom management in the business. I often uh, consistently say, I believe I have the best guidance in the business. Uh, it's really straightforward. I, I, I always 
believe that you've got to be able to give people the knowledge they need. It's not information. Information is not going to help you with this problem. You got to have knowledge. You got to have self-knowledge. You got to have student knowledge. You got to have knowledge of the process. This is a discipline that we can learn and improve in. If you are a teacher that has struggled with classroom management, this institute is for you. It's very lowly. It's very, very low cost, low price, but a principal. It's a great summertime education process. You can purchase it for your staff. What they'll be able to do is they'll get their individual access and their individual material where they can do their training uh, process over the summer. I'm expecting and looking forward to working with thousands of teachers this summer in this process. This is something that we need, you know, and I know we need it. So please, principals, take action. Principals, please share it with your teachers. They can individually. I made the cost where anybody could get in it. There's no excuse not to get in. It's very low cost. Everybody can get in it to where you can work on your own professional and personal development. I am looking forward uh, to working with you soon and seeing you in class. Be well, my friend.